Hi guys, Nemo Dane here. Uh, today we're going to go over this uh, little documentation where I found on this blog about setting us up a modular character. And we're going to see if we can get this done. Now the first thing we need to do is to get a character, of course. Uh, you can download one from Mixamo. Uh, just make sure you use FBX for Unreal Engine. Uh, I've already went through that, or you should be able to do that. It's pretty self-explanatory. Download your character, pick up whatever you want. And when you bring it down, you just want it in a T-pose, looking like this. We don't need any animations on the uh, FBX itself. And then we're going to import the character into Unreal Engine 4. So let's reduce this here. So I would go, I went into the MMO folder. Uh, there's a character that was already in mine. I just used it. I created me a new folder, um, Male Human Test. We're going to put all our stuff in here. I made me three extra folders for animation, mats, and uh, modular. And what you would simply do is uh, we're going to, well, if you click it, you can import your uh, character wherever you build it or wherever you've gotten it from. Here's mine, FBX. We're going to just import that, the whole new character. This one hasn't been edited. And we'll import that into our uh, project. So, You'll, you'll do skeleton mesh. You can bring in the materials if you want. That, um, that's up to you. Throw them in the materials folder. And then uh, don't set anything here. And that's going to uh, create an asset and a skeleton for itself. Then you would simply import that in. Alright, once that in, excuse me, once that's in, you'll have these three. You'll have the skeleton mesh, you'll have the physics asset, and the actual skeleton itself. Um, I dragged all the mats down in a nice little folder just to get them out of the way. Makes it nice and tidy. And uh, that's got that covered. Now that we, all right, we've covered import into F UE4. He wants us to export the skeleton mesh out as an FBX before we take it into our 3D program. But I, I, it, it combines everything together and I, I don't see a need for it. It's an extra step. There may be something. I don't know why. I we'll have to check into that see, but I haven't been doing that. I just went straight ahead and just brought it right into your, my 3D program. I'll be using 3D Studio Max. You can use Blender or Maya. Or whatever whatever one you want to use is fine. But we need to get our um, FBX in there. So we're going to get our FBX in there. Hopefully this won't crash my system. Um, I'm in a lot of trouble with that. So uh, what we're going to do is just let me bring up the viewport here. And we're going to bring us in our model. So go ahead and import the model. Test model, where are you? Alright, this is the full model I brought down from Mixamo. Just going to use the defaults, bring it on in. Alright, let's swing it around where we can see it here. Alright, basically what we want to do is um, we want to hide the skeleton and then we're going to edit the mesh and then we're going to ship it out um, for placement in our project folder. So what I did was I just went over here and we're going to choose all the skeleton holding shift click doom, got them all right click in here and hide selection. So those are all hid behind us so now we can start cutting on this. Let's add a edged face here so we can see what we're cutting. Um, go ahead and target this again I'm just going to use, it already has an edit poly, editable poly on it. I'm just going to use that. Uh, you can change it to an edible mesh or however you want to edit it. Just as long as you can, can cut off some pieces and what you're comfortable with. I'm going to do polys. And then we're going to get the little hand here. And for example, let's say we're going to cut out the chest piece. So just to zoom in on like here on this hand. I would come back about three. All right, grab those. Make sure we got everything straight. If you don't have uh, ignore backing checked, it, it will grab all the way through. Just simply delete that. Zoom back a little bit, and we'll delete that out of the way. Let's move over to the other side. I'm just going to do this one piece. Uh, you should be able to do it. Just you have to remember what you've done. One, two, three. Right, let's check. Oh, that looks good. Delete that. Delete that. So I'm going to keep the hand small. Uh, this is going to be the upper body, so let's go down here at the waist. I notice the pants on this model, when you load it, ride a little bit high, and your shirt's going to overlap it. So let's 
let's guesstimate about three up. So I'm gonna guesstimate about three up. Let's check and see how we did on the back. Oh, we picked a little extra. Alt, alt clicking. We'll get rid of those. All right. Just delete that out. Zoom out a little. Let's go ahead and get rid of that. Now we're going to go up here on the neck part. Um, usually, it'll, I've seen a lot of them come down pretty far in here. I'm kind of taking mine up a little higher because the shirt, the shirt's going to ride up in here. You'll just have to figure out where you want it. So I'm going to take mine up pretty high. We're going to count it one, two, three, four, about right in there somewhere. Holding down control, let's grab the rest of them here. Might have overstepped it. <laughs> Use Alt. Let's clean that up. Ooh, I did over grab. Four. That looks pretty good. I'm going to delete that out, and then we're going to cut the head off. Um, the key thing about the head is um, you want to come on now get all the pieces out of it too so we're gonna delete there's the head now we're gonna have to go over here I just go over here with these broke apart since we didn't run them through UE4 I can just target them hit delete eyes delete default delete so that's all nice and clean so all we have is a torso now so we retarget it skin is still attached. Now let's unhide all and there's our skeleton. Let's, let me zoom back. Alright, so our skeleton mesh is still in place. We've cut out all the things we didn't want. Uh, another thing is make sure it's at zero zero. So when you set yours up always have everything locked to zero zero. It's going to be very important. So depending on what software you're using, uh, I think here you can lock it in. Um, you can click that you just, I forget how it is, but you have to set up. Once you're done with that, we're going to export it. So we're going to export this. And I've already done it, but you would save it. Blah, blah, blah. Let's see what it says. And then uh, make sure you have smoothing groups checked. I did get an issue with that or, uh, in loading it earlier. So we want smoothing groups checked. Anything else can be default and no animations. So you would simply edit all your parts. I tried using the undo t feature, but it kept glitching out. Uh, it, somehow it was breaking the mesh from the um, skeleton. So I had to bring in, I, I would edit this, ship this one off, and then I just simply had to start over. Just new all. And then re-import. Just re-import it again. And cut out what I needed each time. And then shipped it over. All right, so once that's done, Go ahead and close that out. Run part on the system. We've got all our pieces, and we, and we would uh, bring them into the project. So I go down here where it's modular. We'd bring in all of our pieces through here by simply importing. Um, I did I did them independently. You could probably do them um, all at once, um, however you're comfortable with. When you bring them in, bring in as a skeleton and a mesh. Uh, option on whether you want the textures in or not. You can physically set them in later. If you, so that's going to be up to you. But when you bring them in, be sure to choose the skeleton that we brought in. So this would be in the upper folder. That's We want to make sure we choose that to tie it to. And don't forget our little TOA reference pose. Now to get rid of that arrow. Then you would simply import that. And that would bring them all in. What will that will do? That will give us a physical asset and a skeletal mesh of each one. And then we're going to get all the pieces in. Alright, so we've covered breaking it apart. And then we've import import the torso in and you want to do the master skeleton. So once you have it all in, you can bring them all in. Then we're going to put the torso up there. So you would go down to the blueprints. Remember we did this before in a previous video if you've been following along. You would make a copy of modular player character. 
simply right click it and make a copy duplicate once it's done rename it here's mine and then we're going to open that up I can get a double click to go here alright once that's open uh, you're going to look here on the left and we're going to see all our meshes this is where we set up the chest which is going to be the inherited one and you, you can find your uh, material if it doesn't fill in just simply search for your material and then we'll load up everything else here the legs the head the hands the feet and then you would compile and save it so that gets all the uh, pieces and the meshes that are broke apart into that and then we would close and save uh, it says import the other parts that sets them as master and then for that now we got to do the animations it says to go back to the site and put this inside a pack um, here's what I simply did just and it seems to be working so we go to our folder where where my uh, male yes <laughs> test subject is we got the animations folder I just imported them here so when you import them you just simply want to hit import and then uh, go get your animation uh, let's grab one here I'm gonna grab one from the idle and then you're gonna import it simply make sure that you check it once again we want to get uh, the skeleton or whichever skeleton you brought in so that would be it and then we just simply import that so we've tied all those all of our animations uh, to that skeleton and then after that we're gonna have to go in and uh, do the the other part remember the guy part let me see if I can bring that up real quick we're gonna find the guy animation and then we're gonna right click it and we're gonna re uh, excuse me sorry right click it and retarget reaim so let's do that real quick so I'll show you so you go down here new guy this is the uh, animations for this one right click it send target duplicate you would click that this is going to pop up turn off the compatible skeletons and there's our skeleton it's going to show the body and we will select that what that's going to do is it's going to make a copy of everything and it'll ship it to that folder it'll tell you down here at the bottom so let's go to that folder then you would have a copy full of animations and it'll make you a copy of this one right here where it says copy the blend space one for the uh, run combat there will be a copy for the blend space run idle That's, and this would say guy animation copy two I simply renamed it then once you have that renamed you're ready to uh, put your animations in it so we'd open that up and as you see here this is uh, missing <laughs> full body so if you want to see full body just come up here where it says mesh click down there and choose uh, our full body there we go and then we're going to go in here if you watched the previous video we already covered this so there's I'm not going to cover it again you would simply go down in here and then edit these with your animations swap them out save them and then you would be done then you can delete all the old copies and this is going to update the blend space so don't delete these we need to keep these the blend spaces you don't want to lose those that's uh, that's what's mixing our blending so we'll keep those and then uh, you're going to go into your folder whatever kind of animation I did punching you would right click and assets nope it's create create montage you would create a, a montage of this I already moved it up and there's the montage once you created your montage you could open it up and I threw in a couple punchings and once again if you want to see it you can just up here on the right All right there's him punching all right all right we're hitting the end of our time we only do 15 minutes per video so we're gonna cut it there we'll pick it up next in the next video uh, see you in a little bit